Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder on Weather coming at you with another video. In this update, we're going to be talking about Tropical Storm Ada that will bring flooding rains to Belize and the Cayman Islands as it reemerges into the Caribbean this weekend and heads towards Florida on Monday. So before I do get started, if you do like weather related content, please subscribe to my channel as I will upload about five videos a week to keep you updated. And I do ask you to share this video with your friends and family that may be in the path of Ada. So let's get right to it. Here's the latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center. As of this morning, it has dropped down to a tropical depression, 30 mile per hour winds moving west northwest at eight miles an hour after it came ashore bringing some torrential uh, heavy rains into uh, nicaragua and honduras and this will continue west northwest today and be over belize by later today into tomorrow bringing some flooding rains for them and then a little reemerge into the caribbean on friday afternoon and then start really kind of ramping up again and we're starting to re-intensify as it heads towards the Cayman Islands bringing them some flooding rains and then it'll eventually get close to the Bahamas but get trapped by this high pressure that will swing it back westward and then become a, a pretty formidable tropical storm uh, by then uh, you know later Monday into early Tuesday morning just south of Florida so Let's get right to it. Let's go over the latest uh, advisory. It's basically a poorly defined uh, tropical depression. Now it's just an area of low pressure. Just so it's not a wind threat anymore. It's a flooding rain threat over the next several days as this will move west northwestward and on track. The center of Ada is expected to move across Honduras through this afternoon and emerge over the Gulf of Honduras by tonight. And it's forecast to approach the Cayman Islands and, and westward of central Cuba this weekend with maximum staying range at 30 miles an hour, but will re-intensify as it's propagating northwest. Here's some of the latest uh, rainfalls the National Hurricane Center does expect between now and Tuesday morning. So this would be over the next five, five and a half days. They still expect an additional 10 to 15 inches in parts of Central America. In south, southeastern Mexico, around 5 to 10 inches in isolated 20 amounts. With Jamaica, between now and Tuesday morning, they're expecting over the next five days an additional 3 to 5 inches with some isolated 15-inch totals for the, for the total of storm. The Cayman Islands, as it's getting near over those three days this weekend, they expect 10 to 20 inches in that area. So this between the Cayman Islands and Cuba, you're just going to be inundated as it moves directly over you with tropical storm force winds. And uh, it's just kind of crawling as it moves it north, northwest or intensifying. So this rainfall will lead to catastrophic and life-threatening flash flooding and river threading, along with landslides in the areas of higher terrain. Significant life-threatening flat flash flooding, river flooding is expected in the Cayman Islands and Cuba as it's close by. But on the outskirts in Jamaica, you can expect some flash flooding, uh, you know, Saturday and Sunday as this nears uh, the Cayman Islands. So let's kind of take a look at the overall big picture. Um, you can kind of see three highlighted spots. Here's uh, a, a tropical storm out of the Pacific that is luckily moving away from uh, land. There's a uh, La Nina that's building, and that's why we're still keeping the the uh, storm season alive in the Atlantic because there's a lot less shear to work with. And here's uh, there's th the spot of Ada, but there's also this spot here that I'm concerned about. But then this more uh, closer in is this tropical wave out, out here. This will propagate westward. It might come into play and the Caribbean later later down on down the line. So this, you can see all the flooding rains will be over uh, Belize today as this kind of re-intensifies back into the Caribbean on Friday. So here's Thursday. So here's the latest uh, precipitation water index and kind of shows you that basically a lot of the heavier rains of those two, three inch rainfall rates per hour is essentially going to be right over Belize today. So I do expect, even on top of the rains that you've gotten in Belize, 
that those very heavy rains are setting up over your area today into the first half of tomorrow. And then it'll eventually move off into the Caribbean, moving northwest. And then the, the Cayman Islands become more into play. So I do expect in uh, Jamaica, you're going to be drying out today and Friday as it kind of has a, a lull as it's basically centered and it winds down over Belize and it heads towards uh, the Cayman Islands. But on Friday, uh, you're going to be locked in into the Cayman Islands of those heavier rains of those two and three inch rainfall rates per hour. But by Saturday, as it's near the Cayman Islands, I do expect your worst day from this event of flash flooding of, you know, three, four, you know, six inch amounts could be easily uh, inundating the island as this moves northwest. And I do expect the heavier rains to start picking up in Jamaica uh, by then on Saturday as this gets near and kind of moves uh, by your way. You'll get the outer flow. And then even on Sunday, the kind of the same thing. This will propagate and continue northwestward, dumping some more heavier rains into Jamaica as this is moving through uh, Cuba. And then actually the Bahamas will start feeling the heavier rains uh, from this system as it's becoming a tropical storm. And this will be a, a 50 to 60 mile per hour uh, tropical storm by then just uh, around uh, the Bahamas south of south of florida but then by monday you can start to see this kind of gets a little bit more rotation attached with it that's when the national hurricane center thinks it's going to be a 65 mile per hour tropical storm dumping some very heavy rains uh into the bahamas on monday just south of the the, the center just south of uh, florida into the keys but it'll be close enough into south florida that it'll be dumping some very heavy rain into uh, miami into fort lauderdale and to areas down just on the tip of Florida, especially in the Florida Keys, as it gets felt by these this high pressure to the north uh, to the north, and this will push it back into the Gulf of Mexico on Monday, getting into Tuesday. Now, if we take a look at the overall uh, ensemble members and what they're kind of thinking, how this is going to play out over the next you know five to ten days, as we're st still dealing with Ada. Uh, most of them are pretty consistent that it's it, it you know basically heads northwestward and it gets felt by this high pressure and then it gets kind of pulled back into the uh, the Gulf of Mexico and the GFS is kind of implying the same thing but when that does happen like I showed you yesterday it gets pulled into that loop eddy and that loop current in the Gulf of Mexico and that's when I really think it's going to start really intensifying and becoming a hurricane uh, by then as it really starts to get its act together but we're talking this could be a ways I mean you know this, this could be beyond uh, you know five, five six seven days from now by the time it reaches uh, this area as it gets gets its act together and we have a very strong cold front that's going to be coming into the United States that uh, the crosshairs in the southeast are going to be coming into play depending on the timing of this cold front it'll propagate it uh, southeast it'll probably eventually end up in the florida panhandle later on in the period if you take a look at the the, the zoomed in version of all the model guidance over the next you know five to seven days are pretty consistent uh that'll bring it to the south to the south of florida getting it getting it into uh, the, the Gulf of Mexico. But this only shows you the next five to six days. Beyond that, it'll get into uh, the, the Gulf of Mexico and kind of really get, to, get its act together and uh, probably start ramping up into a hurricane by then. And so by next weekend, we could have a formidable uh, hurricane on our hands in the Gulf of Mexico. And I think eventually how this will all end, it, It'll, this will be picked up by this very strong cold front in, in the United States. And this won't be until like the 13th or 14th time frame. So we still have a, a ways to deal with Ada. But I do think it's it's eventually starts heading northeast towards the United States and coming in somewhere in the vicinity of the Florida panhandle by next weekend. And I do expect it to be a hurricane uh, at that point. So, but ultimately I think it takes kind of a similar track of Hurricane Michael back in 2018. I solely don't think it builds the intensity of a Hurricane Michael, but just to kind of give you an idea beyond that of what, how I think this is all going to play out as it gets picked up by this strong cold front, 
this will whisk into uh, the Florida Panhandle and then go over uh, Georgia, into the Carolinas, and eventually get out into the Northeast and kind of fizzle out. So that's my kind of my, la my latest thinking, how I think all this is going to play out. But in the longer term, while a lot of the attention is on Ada over the Gulf and heading into potentially uh, Florida later on in the period, we do had to watch that tropical wave that was moving westward in this region, getting into uh, the Caribbean again. And by the, you know, the 14th, 15th, 16th time frame, we may be looking at another tropical storm development and it would be theta uh, by then. So I'll keep my eyes on that if that's going to be able to happen. But I don't think we're done with the uh, the hurricanes beyond Ada, uh, to say the least, because we still have a, an active time and uh, the tropics with that building La Nina and some upward rising motion that's going to hit the period November, even in December. So uh, uh, hang on with me and, and I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Uh, if you'd like this video, definitely leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to catch me in the next video where I protect you before and after the storm.